So we are at holiday slash BP and we we're planning on doing are pizza. You holiday Sorry, slash circle K. No, <laughs> and our plan was doing pizza, but we see that they are on breakfast. So, so breakfast sandwich? Yeah. Let's roll with it. So breakfast. we'll be doing breakfast today. Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Alright. That sounds good. That does. Alright, let's go. So we just got back with the lineup. We <laughs> are doing breakfast sandwiches. Yes. So they're all sausage, egg, and cheese. Yep. Um, the reason we did two from Quick Trip is because Casey's sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich is a croissant. And everybody else is like a regular McMuffin style. Oh, except BP. Except BP, we they're noticed. Pancakes. Yeah, that's so weird. We noticed that. And uh, yeah. And then we ended up getting two from Quick Trip because we're like, well, technically we'd have to try both to give it a fair, because they had two different styles. They had the English muffin and the croissant. So we're tying in like the English muffin of Circle K and the uh, croissant of Casey's. So we'll Ooh. see who's king. Yes. I'm actually excited for the first time about BP. The pancakes. The pancakes. That will be weird, it smells right? smells super syrupy. That'll be very interesting. So let's go. So here's the lineup. Let's try them. Oh, is there a Casey's? Okay, let's do that. All right, I'll unpackage it. A million years. Um, what are you doing, sweetie? Well, cause here, you oh, do this, yeah. and then you open the pack. <laughs> oh, it's smart, you know. That's great. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. That looks interesting. It does. It looks unique. Oh, it smells really good, though. Yeah. It does smell very good. So we'll kind of just cut them in half and see how this works out. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Oh. Okay, he's more of a... He's not a crispy croissant style. He's more of a soft, mushy croissant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pick your half. I'll take this one. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of... See, there's some cheese or egg there. Mm. Yeah, egg and cheese. It's strange. Hmm. Hmm. The flavor is actually very good. It's like a sweetness. It's actually uh -huh. sweet. Hmm. Sweet and savory. Yeah. Hmm. It is actually a really good flavor. Mm hmm. I would prefer the. I've never had a breakfast sandwich croissant, so maybe I'm wrong. But I would prefer it to be like flaky, you know, mm -hmm. rather than soft, I guess. Yeah. But maybe that's how breakfast style are supposed to be. I don't know. I've never had a breakfast croissant sandwich before. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Not terrible. In my opinion, it's actually really good. Mm hmm mm hmm I like it. Mm hmm For sure. Mm hmm And I'll finish this a little later. Okay. So that one is really good. Mm hmm Who do you want to try next? Circle K. Circle K. Do you want to open it? Oh, I know. You can open it. I can cut it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're a team. We're a team. There we go. Okay. So this is Circle K's? Circle K's last holiday. Okay. I think it depends on where you live. Oh, yeah. He, oh, wow. Well. Oh. I think his cheese just looked dumb, but. No, I mean, the leaky cheese looked amazing, mm. but then I saw the top and went, that is not at all like the picture. No. You want to grab a half, my dear? Yes. Here we go. That is no, okay. So you guys, you guys. This is what the picture shows. See that beautiful flaky biscuit? Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, this is not that. And then this is like a soggy monster. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but they went hard on cheese, and I love cheese, so I'm excited for that. Mm. Mm, okay. Yep, I don't. Mm hmm. It is a biscuit. It doesn't look like a biscuit, but it is a biscuit. Mm hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. Holiday's like amazing. Mm-hmm. It's an ugly biscuit, but it's a biscuit. 
It's very good. Yes. I like the bread on it. Okay, so here's my personal opinion. If I could have Casey's, like, sandwich, but on holidays bread. Yeah. Yes. That'd be good. Because I'm not wild about that croissant thing. Yeah. But I love the flavor of their sandwich. Mm-hmm. I guess the flavor of the croissant. Mm. The croissant's a sweet part. Mm. Mm-hmm. Texture-wise, for me... Casey's is better. Oh, I was going to say holiday wins. Mm-hmm. But flavor-wise, Casey's wins. The problem with me is this is so big. Thick. Yeah, it's hard to, like, get a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both are great so far. Mm-hmm. Really good. It's hard to pick a, like, definite winner so far. Ooh. Gosh, if they're all that good, I'm pumped. Same. All right, so next is Quick Trip. These are both actually Quick yes. Trip. But we wanted to make it fair because they have two styles, English muffin and croissant. So. And so far, um, English Circle muffin. K's was an English muffin. Yeah. And Casey's, and Casey's was a croissant. croissant. So, so. These guys did both, I guess. Yeah. Why don't we go for the croissant first? Okay. I'm going to wrap it here. Oh, very interesting. Ooh, their croissant looks better. They don't have eggs, though. They're supposed to do. Maybe it's kind of... Oh, show them that tiny, scary, ugly egg. That's the egg right mm. in the middle. Looks but their croissant looks much flakier. Want to set them down and all? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, and I'll leave you with the... Interesting. Which half looks better to you? Mm, this one. Okay, and I'll leave you with the wrapper since I have wrappers I can put mine on. There you go. We're not throwing away the food we can't eat. We're just eating it later. Mm-hmm. That's gross. Hmm. I gave it two tries? No. The flavor of the egg is, um, is rough. Like. The texture's very nice, but the flavor's disgusting. It's the egg that's weird. The egg is... I'll try a bit of the croissant. You know the smell of, like, a rotten egg? Like, that really nasty smell? This is the flavor this guy has, and it's it's really not good. The croissant's really good. It's the egg. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you it's the egg. Watch this. Take out that weird egg. I think I ate all the egg. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's 100% the egg. The egg on that one is nasty. Mm-hmm. 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 It tastes like a rotten egg. Like a rotten egg smells is how that tastes. So, that monster's done. So that was the croissant. Quick trip croissant is pretty gross. Which I'm surprised. Ooh, that looks like delicious, you guys. Look at that bad boy. Wow. He's cheesy. Oh, you guys can't see anything. My bad. Look at that. Cheesy. And it's nice. Um, a really good textured English muffin. Mm-hmm. So maybe this guy... Oh, but with their egg. Their egg is Ooh. the nasty. Yep. Maybe that egg is a mess. Yeah. Which half looks better to you? I'll go with this one. Okay. Teaser. Okay. That's what it looks like when you cut them in half. I will say I love the texture of this bread already without even trying it. This one's a mess for me. Hmm. 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 Again, for me, it's that egg. Their eggs at Quick Trip aren't very good. Hmm. I don't know if it's the way they cook them. What exactly is going on there? Or because we're used to farm fresh eggs. Yeah, but we like the other two oh, eggs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Without the egg, you guys, this is actually really good. I love the texture of their bread. I don't like the texture of their bread. Too spongy. Oh, I love it. It's a really good English muffin. Hmm. But again, for me, the Quick Trip egg is kind of gross. Mm-hmm. That's just my personal take. And last but not least, hopefully. Hopefully not worse. BP has been the loser in every competition. One. Yep. So I'm hoping they're going to change that. It smells so good. Yeah, it does. It smells very syrupy. It smells amazing. 
I'm hoping this one is going to change their usually nastiness. Pancake excitement. Um, it's kind of cool they did an original thing. Okay, it actually looks good. Oh my gosh, it does. It looks like a commercial. It looks just like the picture. Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> go Best on. looking 100% BP. Go BP. Ooh, let's get that quick trip egg piece off of the knife because that would not be like. fair. All right. Take a half. I'm now excited because this looks so good. I will say their meat actually looks pretty amazing too. I'm guessing the syrup is maybe in the meat. See, look at that, you Or guys. in the pancake. It's kind of impressive looking, right? I don't know how cheese and pancake will combine, but hey, maybe. Not bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> BB, are you the winner? Wow. Let's see. I'm curious. I think it's in the pancake. The syrup. Is it? No. Their meat, for me, is a little meh. I mean, it's what has the syrup. Oh, it is? Yes. But it's wow, the their pancake, pancake so. is so good. The texture of their pancake is rock star for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about the meat. Mm-hmm. But the meat is a little like Quick Trip's egg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got an idea. I'm gonna take Quick Trip's meat. meat and put it with BP's sandwich here. I bet you this will be killer. Mm-hmm. It is? Mm-hmm. I'll try it. Now that is a breakfast sandwich. Out of heaven. Mm hmm. So, in my opinion, Quick Trip's fail was their egg. BP's fail was their meat, but I don't think the meat was as big a fail as the egg was. Yeah. Mm. Not bad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. For you, who won this? Like, this might shock you, but BB. Really? BB. For me? BB or Casey's? It was a tie between three for me. <laughs> I know that's hard. I thought that, um... Circle K? Circle K? Was that the... That's no. Holiday. Holiday? Who was the first one? Circle or no, K. This is one right after Casey's. Circle K, Holiday. Circle K. And Casey's for me were amazing, but BP tied. So I'm gonna hand this one to BP. To BP for originality, execution. I mean, what works better than a pancake and a breakfast sandwich? Because yeah. it works if it gets, you know, that spongy kind of wetness, whatever. It's fine with a pancake. So I'm gonna yeah. say, genius. Because pancake is like a sponge; it absorbs it. That was genius. BP, I'm I'm gonna have to give it to BP for this one. Yeah. Shockingly. BP, you guys, the nasty one is the best. And I'm gonna say the loser. For me, the winner is kind of hard to determine because there were some really good ones, mm -hmm. like Casey's. Yes. You like Casey's? I didn't. I wasn't so sure about the croissant style, but I, I it loved its good. flavor. Yes. That like sweetness was so good. I'd say the loser for me was for sure Quick Trip. The, yeah, the loser is easier to determine. Quick Trips breakfast sandwiches are disgusting, and honestly. I think their Egg McMuffin style one would be amazing if it wasn't for that gross egg. The eggs are gross. I don't like the... I'll try this plain. Yeah. I just... The egg for me was nasty. I don't like their bread. Oh, I love the bread. It's so good. I don't like it. But the egg is what really shot it to the ground for me. So the clear loser is for sure Quick Trip on the breakfast sandwiches. But... For me, I would have to give it to BP or Casey's as a winner for, oh yeah. Yeah. So, who are you giving it to? BP. Yeah, I'm giving it to BP. That pancake was just like rock star. Yes. The meat wasn't great, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. It, you didn't notice it that much. So, and texture-wise, flavor-wise, BP. Yep. So, there you have it. The winner of this cage match BP! is BP. Go BP. BP. There you have it. The best breakfast sandwich is BP. BP. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so make sure you like, like and follow, follow or subscribe. subscribe. Go Shitsu